welcome back to the Road to Episode 7, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015. Very quick video today. I just want to talk about Peter Mayhew, um, the, uh, the the legendary actor who portrayed the role of Chewbacca in the Star Wars films. Um, I say legendary actor, but the, the character is legendary. He hasn't had a fantastic film career beyond Star Wars, but he definitely, um, you know, put his mark in film history. Chewbacca to me is one of the best characters of the whole trilogy and indeed of you know of movie history you know I'd say just thinking about it now you know when you think about it, Star Wars there's so many iconic characters in, in, the, in that series you know Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, uh, C-3PO, R2-D2 and Darth Vader, Yoda, Chewbacca that's what was great about Star Wars almost every character was iconic you know and is and still is iconic so on the sub on the subject of episode seven, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but I think that's what they need to do is is create new iconic characters. You know, Darth Maul was cool, but he wasn't iconic. You know what I mean? Um, but I want to talk about Peter Mayhew because um, originally I was going to make this video saying this is the first official casting news of Star Wars Episode Seven. Peter Mayhew will not be in the movie. As far as I understand, he wants to be, but he recently um, a month or a month and a half ago, something like that. He actually underwent double knee replacement surgery. Now he suffers from gigantism, as far as I believe. Uh, you know, he's over seven foot, huge guy, and so his knees were becoming problems. You know, he's getting quite old now as well. So he had both of his knees replaced. Um, by the way, just on a, a lighter note, check out his Twitter. I've forgotten what the handle is, but you can find it easily. His Twitter is a joy. It's really funny. You know, he seems like such a cool, down to earth guy. He's constantly posting pictures, funny things, and. Uh, Akin to George Takai, you know, really embracing the kind of social media and just having fun with it. Uh, and really interesting and uh, cool tweets, I think. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you if you use Twitter. Now, uh, apparently he is keen to, to uh, uh, reprise his role in Episode 7. He's currently filming, or um, was filming, I'm not sure now because of his recovery from the, the hip replacement, uh, knee replacement, sorry. Uh, but he was involved in the film with the documentary Standing in the Stars, uh, the Peter Mayhew story which will look at his life and struggle with gigantism. The film's director, uh, W. Ryan uh, Ziegler, uh, gave film site Bleeding Cool a message from Mayhew saying, I intend to pursue the role of Chewbacca for episode seven, so he wants to do it. Um, but this comment came as Star Wars bosses launched a casting call in the UK for a very tall actor, sparking speculation that they were looking for a new Wookiee to portray Chewbacca. Um, you know, the, the call for an untitled studio feature um, Posted on Spotlight is after a male, 7 foot, 7.3 foot tall, uh, with a slim, thin build and upright posture. Not too worked out or too thick set, especially in the shoulders. Broad facial feature would be a bonus. Um, it remains to be seen whether Mayhew would be fit enough in time for Episode 7's scheduled production to start date at the beginning of 2014. Uh, so, you know, what's going to happen with that? I I feel like um, it would be great to have Peter Mayhew back, but he is very old now. I think he's in his late sixties, um, and again, double knee <laughs> replacement is a, is a big deal. He seems to be coming along in strides though in his recovery, so that's awesome. I feel like even if he was fit to go, I don't think they would go with it just because of his age and you know the the problem with the knees and the limitations that would bring. You know, we have to be honest about it. You know, with someone who's that old and have, has knee problems. I think they're going to need to go for someone younger who they can have running around and doing that kind of thing that he probably wouldn't be able to do as well and, and risk his health even further, you know, risk hurting his knees or something. And that's something they don't want to do, I don't think, anyway. I mean, I would assume, you know, health and safety is, is so much more <laughs> strict now than it was before. Not that I'm saying he would be a health and safety risk, but I'm just saying I think that um, this is akin to David Prowse, you know, I think 2003, 2004, he was saying on you know uh, in interviews and things that he really wanted to uh, get back in the suit, but back in the Darth Vader suit and portray Vader in uh, episode 3 of Revenge of the Sith when we all knew of course we'd eventually see Darth Vader again. And uh, apparently he had like a hip replacement or something wrong with his hip and uh, I know that Dave Prowse has had um, a lot of problems you know, health wise and stuff but um, yeah, the, eventually they went with Hayden Christensen in, in, in the suit um, but I know that he championed being in that suit. Originally they weren't going to go with him they were going to go with someone else because you know Vader needs to be taller. But Hayden Christian was like, I want to be the one in the suit. Whether that factored in or not, you know, not getting David Prowse back, I don't know. I would say it's probably the same as it will, will be with P Peter Mayhew. You know, he's very old now. Uh, you know, health-wise, not perfect. So there's no point, you know, um, limiting ourselves or risking the health of, of that actor to bring them back. 
I would say it'd be a great middle ground if they got some new young actor to play Chewbacca and then bring Pe Peter Mayhew on and get him to do a couple of scenes like maybe a scene with Harrison Ford if he decides to do the film where he's just standing and not doing much else. That'd be really cool but I, I have a feeling that, that Peter would probably feel like I either want to do it all or, or not do it at all. I don't know, it remains to be seen. But I thought that with his, his double knee replacement, he'd be out of the picture. But apparently he still wants to do it. Um, again, this is just uh, it's just little bits of, of text flying around the internet. We don't know if that's completely true. But, um, you know, if he really wants it and, and, he, and he champions uh, uh, himself for it, um, I don't see any reason why not. You know, it's possible. It's certainly possible. I mean, we've seen, like, um, Christopher Lee lately um, appear in the Hobbit movie. Um, but again, I, I would assume that we'd have Chewbacca in a more active role in the movie, so again, I have a feeling that it won't happen, but either way, you know, um, again, thinking about that, what's going to happen with C-3PO, R2-D2, I can't see them bringing Kenny Baker back, they might, um, in fact, they're going to have to bring Anthony Daniels back, at least for the voice of C-3PO anyway, but um, yeah, it's interesting to uh, think about, about all these secondary characters that we hadn't necessarily thought about, I hadn't anyway, I hadn't thought about Chewbacca or the droids, I just thought about Luke, Han, and Leia, you know? Uh, maybe um, uh, Lando as well. But um, yeah, for me, Peter Mayhew, will he or won't he? Is he in? Is he out? Time will tell, but my instinct, my gut tells me he's out. But um, that's not a bad thing, you know. And follow his Twitter. Really, really cool, fun Twitter. That's it for, for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.